फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार वी नो वाई वी आर गेटिंग टू बी इट्स एन ओकेजन टू बी एबल टू सेलिब्रेट ए पर्सनैलिटी एन इंडिविजुअल एन ए सेल्फ एन एज एक्सटेंशन देर ऑफ फंक्शनली वॉट ही मे हैव अचीव He has spent 34 years or 35 years. Half of the years I've known him. Over the years, obviously I can conclude in a few words as to what I know of him. Three things I find in him extraordinary. One, for him the last man in the institution. He has served. He is offered free goodness. He is a barometer. He is the he is the instigator, provocator of his great action. If he or she does not know, this is why he did institute a, a, a committee or a centre in the Union Bank of India. Now, in the Central Bank of India, where anybody in the whole institution, I'm happy. Pay the decision matters out to him or to her. Could reach out to him personally. You can't get a barometer more than this. Second, there is not one institution with which he has been associated. It is not full of conflict. At all times, whenever there is a conflict around, there is one man to reach out to. A man you call Mount Pansani. I call him therefore the peacemaker. If there is one institution in this country where the peace has been has been wrought, not bought, <coughs> it is by the endeavour of the man called Sang Sali. I've known Ivy for a lot many years. I've known bank for the last 52 years. I've known 300 bankers, 100 of them the chairman and the MP. For me, they have to find somebody so worthy that he should be he should be awarded. Why well, not too difficult to make? Why the third one here? I do not remember another man whom you can probably use as a barometer, book, as the index, and the practitioner of what is the most essential feature. Of all human beings, called integrity. If there is one thing called integrity in which cannot be measured, the measure must end up with Montaigne. The same thing I conveyed to Mrs. Anandati Bhattacharya. She asked me, "What the next step between our institution and IBA?" I conveyed to her, "Lady, we are not banking sector people." We know the banks in and out. No, we know the banks and about them only from the media that we read through. There is one of mine who probably knows more about the banking <coughs> and bankers than anybody else in the world could. And the man even stands there. And she asked me, then, what? Why did you ask him? I think he is a man of totally objectivity. For him to guide us, they gave the award some banker. Who do, could the banker be? And who could that bank be? Last year, the bank of Maharashtra was the Southern Bank. Within the parameters which are laid out for the for the selection, Mr. Pansel did not reply for the next two days or two and a half days, for he knew that he had got to take out the favourites. He has got to measure every word and syllable that he then emits out. Then he said, "Ask what your idea is." How many cars have you sold today? That state bank looks like that. That who has done it? That leader he has done it. So he must have said, "I have done it." But I have done it. He has done it. He must have asked, "Why not?" <laughs> he had to wait. He had to wait for me to tell. What name do I have in mind? 
And we did find the name that was what was I suggested to him fell off the mark. Then he would probably reveal, not to the buyer. It's an approach I'm talking about. He had been for 50, 70 years, but in those 50, 70 years, I'm a finance man. I've not done any transaction till today. In the PND, in the Bank of India, or Central Bank. Of course, now there's no question. But the greatest contribution I think that he has made, in my judgment, maybe you will have agreed. Ranjana Kumar saved Indian Bank. But the man who did only, not only save, but created a, 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 a precedent, he saved the Titanic called the Central Bank of India from sinking. That team that he had gone on and met in the Sarkunian effort, Mr. Nune, he had two persons, the area and Mr. Dube. Both of them, they had come to do <coughs> what they had learned from the master, the senior. And till today, when they meet me, they speak about the great time that they had together. <coughs> they saved the great central bank. The bank is now galloping. Mr. Anshali, if we had to make a choice, that we should. We could not have found a better man. With an our knowledge to what will it be, then we should not think for me. And my friends, tell me, if you had to make a choice, you are not bank. If you had to make a choice of choosing a man a lifetime of contribution, not achievement, contribution, would you find a man more deserving, more merited, more gloriously suited for this country? Then we should think Say yes or no. no. Yes. <laughs> what is your mind? Sir, can I add one thing to this? <laughs> with your permission. I'm not finished. Okay. <laughs> one Please. with your permission right now. You know, this is not a banking award. This is the India Public Sector Awards, which was launched last year. And the, last year, four people launched this award. Let me tell you. That is governance now. Then there was the India Today group. You know, then there was a third one, if I'm not mistaken, is Rice Tea. And uh, we were the other one, you know, uh, the Public Sector Enterprise Journal. We run a quarterly, it's an international quarterly. So this is uh, the first lifetime achievement award given. Last year we didn't give to anybody, which has been the case with my inertia awards also, he knows why. So this is a award for lifetime achievement in public sector, not only the banks. So you will see the width of what I'm talking. I'm happy I'm happy. So the responsibility of making a choice had to be based upon two facts. The fact on record, what he or she did in a particular sector, and number two, how much he or she as an individual deserve to have. But you may have a genius about it, but you are not above board. Your genius has got to substitute the other part. So now that Master Professor has, has claimed uh, Clarified, added rather dimension. It is an award being given to somebody who represents the public sector undertaking. And in that country, there are verticals. Banking is one of them. Banking is the biggest of them. Banking is the biggest of them because. And they have put it many times, you know, in the PSOs. I've seen the way it's being done, sir. Yes. And why banking? Because I think if they're not bankable, who else would be? <laughs> <laughs> so with, with these words, I, I think we have explained as to why. We, uh, we, we, I mean, I mean the chief of the jury, the chairman, that we had a difficult task. We quite a few of the bankers reached us to. Hanko Dedo, Hanko Dedo, Hanko Dedo. But no, that's not how you judge, not how you decide. So addition, it is incidental, I know, I'm um, it, it is incidental that I know that. So I can add my personality to the process of choice. And I'm happy that that honor fell onto my shoulder. I could not let it go. Thank you very much. All the best.
So there's a citation as well? Yes. Because if I read a little bit of the citation, it will be you very should. long. You should. But yes, the eminent jury panel of the second IPSC awards recognizes your human contribution in the banking sector in India, especially across the lifetime of engagement and achievements in the banking policy construct, credit policy making, leadership as chairman and MD of the Central Bank of India, in June 2011 to July 2013, and as the executive director of the Punjab National Bank for a brief period of 27 months where you did wonderful work in the bank and uh, made it one of the most profitable banks in the country, as well as now as, as the CEO of the Indian Banking Institute since 2013, including your contribution in several committees of the government and governing council. Sir, we want to see more of you because I think people like you are required to change the structure of the NPAs and things like that. Now you are definitely, you are detached and attached to the whole situation. So you are in a much stronger position. So we look forward to much better movement with your leadership, sir. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, respected uh, Shri Suresh Yamaji, who is uh, chairman of Global Cancer Mission, uh, chief patron for the jury of this awards by Mars Media Resources uh, was dedicated to public sector enterprises and I would say that uh, my relationship goes back to maybe 2000 when we met for the first time in Union Bank of India and believe me there on it's almost 15 years not a single Sunday goes when you get a blessing from him uh, with his sweet voice Beautiful, articulated English and Hindi. Difficult to match. His son, Prakhyat, my colleague, uh, Unni, Mr. Vaman Gokhale, retired DGF Central Bank of India, who has been with me during my tenure of 21 months in uh, Central Bank, and uh, Professor Ayer. I am indeed uh, humbled with the, the introduction made by Chairman sir and uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the sponsors like Mars Media Resources, the Chairman of the Jury, uh, the Chair of the Jury Professor A.G. Ayer <laughs> and all other Jury members for uh, this recognition. Let me tell you. I started my banking career in January 1973 with Central Bank of India and the cycle was complete in Central Bank of India in July 2013. Forty and a half years of uh, banking. It was a great uh, opportunity for me. I moved from Central Bank to Union Bank of India and where I would say is my parent bank who I served for 35 years and these 35 years were extremely I would say uh, challenging a uh, learning time for me and I am extremely grateful to Union Bank of India that they gave me a wonderful opportunity in fact for 10 years I served in the lead districts of the bank out of which three and a half years as a general manager of the sponsored regional rural bank between 82 to 86. I mean for a young person of 29 having the designation of general manager although of RRB was different for me then, but then that was probably the place for me which created a quest in me to serve the society because I have seen the period of the integrated rural development way back in 1976, the various schemes of the government of India like uh, the lead bank scheme, the regional rural banks, they were started uh, in 77, 78, my bank was started in 79 and then there on I have seen the total evolution in the banking industry that how exactly the banking have really turned from what was purely a banking for handling deposits and advances at the branch level, doing only transactions, no technology at hand, to a today's banking where everything is being done digitally, 
but not losing the customer centricity. Customer is still at the focus of the bank and can never go out of the focus of the banking when it is a great service industry. I think when I joined the banking business of the industry could have been less than or maybe around few lakh crores. Today the banking industry has a business of almost 160 lakh crores, 92 lakh crore deposit and 68 crores of 68 lakh crores of advances. <coughs> the kind of uh, technological uh, innovations which happen in the banking industry are tremendous and uh, luckily I have been a part of uh, this evolution in the banking industry I would say over the period of four decades. This quest to serve, quest to upgrade has pushed me to acquire my various academic qualifications during my service. I was a mere graduate when I joined the banking industry. Today I am a professionally qualified a post graduation, a CIB, a fellow of uh, the Institute of uh, Cost and Management Accountant, the inter CS and maybe many many opportunities to uh, be at the various conferences as a speaker, delegate, receiver of various uh, awards and accolades. But it was all because the banking industry uh, gave me a great opportunity. Union Bank of India wanted the young officers in the international banking at Mumbai. I came to Mumbai in 94. 20 years I served in Madhya Pradesh but that 94 onward journey was a real great challenge when I had come from the rural semi-urban environment to the Mumbai. A person who was looking at the checks of flag started looking at crores. And that was the international banking, export, import. And that was the era when we were all moving from the regulated regime to the, the liberalized uh, regime called Fera uh, to Fema, LPG, that is liberalization. Uh, globalization and what is P stands for? Private. Privatization. Private. That was the, the era and maybe they have found something in me with every promotion I was packing up for my transfer which usually is there but I have been one lucky person. I was retained in Mumbai all through from 94 to 2009 till I was moved out of uh, moved out of uh, Union Bank as an ED financial bank and in that period I had an opportunity to lead the largest branch of the bank called Mumbai Samachar branch where we met for the first time. The largest region of the bank that is Mumbai South and largest zone of the bank that is Mumbai Zone. But it was not a, a cakewalk. Every moment was challenge, every moment you had to understand what are the new things happening probably I was a part of uh, the marketing for the IPO, doing road shows. I worked in the recovery department, planning department, strategy department. I was uh, <coughs> in charge of a marketing of third party products. Uh, and at the end, I had to set up a new innovative department called the transaction banking department. I think thanks to Union Bank of India, who gave me all this opportunity. Of course, financial bank was the biggest bank of the country among the public sector then, today probably uh, uh, they are in the second number two position. It was a great challenge and uh, again an opportunity when Dr. Chakravarti moved out as a deputy yes. chairman, uh, governor. Four months me and my colleague had to run the bank uh, as in charge. Board positioning, all every, every functionality which was required. And last was the Central Bank of India which used to be the largest bank of the country at the time of nationalization, which remained as the largest bank of the country till 80s. But a lot of issues, Vaman Gokhale will excuse me, <laughs> but then the bank started losing its positioning to the extent that they were the last to complete the core banking by 2011. They were the last to come with the IPO in 2008. Well, that was a misfortune. Nothing wrong with the institution and the people. And when I found that when there is nothing wrong with the institution and the people, I thought it's better that you connect with the people. Understand? And my first day address to Central Bank or Centralites was, you are my first customer. If you are satisfied, you are going to satisfy my three crore customers. That was the 
the way I tried to conduct myself. Okay. Lot of issues. Uh, handled all the issues. The NPS which were not system identified were at the level of 2400. I had to take it, the brunt of it to go on a system driven NPA, take it from 2400 to almost 11,000 crore when I <laughs> left the bank. But fine, I mean, there was no regret and uh, I think uh, as uh, Sir represented the Cancer Society and I think uh, for his Cancer Society, maybe for the last 5-7 years, I have been one of the small contributors in whatever capacity I was. I think the cancer needs to be detected in good time. If it is the, what you call first phase, it has a cure. If you detect it third, third phase, uh, uh, you, the case is lost. And that's what we tried to do. And I'm very happy that uh, it's back. The bank is bounced back and today, incidentally, is the 105th Foundation Day of Central Bank of India. Okay. Yes. And I had the privilege to chair the bank when we celebrated the centenary of the bank True. in 2011. That has been my journey in the banking industry. Thanks. The managing committee members thought me fit to be representing the banking industry through the Indian Banks Association and facilitate the managing committee to represent the Indian Banking Association at all the fronts where I do not remain the representative of only a public sector. I am a representative of the entire, entire sector, right. including foreign bank, private sector bank, urban property bank. Let me tell you, every moment is a challenge and an enjoyment for me. I feel that I have been learning <laughs> because when you work in one organization, you are confined to one. When you have to work for all the organizations, you have to learn a lot. And I think the IBA was a great learning platform for me. So before I close, I would like to express my sincere thanks to respected Suresh Sharmaji, Professor Ayer, the, the organizers of that is the Mars uh, Media Resources, uh, the Global Cancer Society and my sincere thanks to my Alma Mater Union Bank of India followed by Financial Bank, Central Bank of India and the great Indian Banks Association and my own people. <laughs> say let me tell you, in all such acceptances, I never ever forget my family. There is a huge contribution coming from your family, be it your parents, be it your wife, better half, Nandini Tangsale, be it your children. Unless they are ready to accept that yes, you please walk on this path which is challenging, we are with you. You can't really walk the path. And thus I would like to express my thanks to my wife, my children, my parents who have supported me all my endeavors which probably is recognized as a lifetime award for me by this foundation. I am extremely happy that few more organizations like you have also considered a lifetime award for me in the past and uh, I feel obliged. But I feel that your journey is not over with this. Actually, every award puts you back into a challenge. Do you really deserve it? Do you really command it? Let me tell you when he spoke to me. Uh, you know, I, I share uh, lighter moments also with him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do I really command it or you thought it? Chalo, mohan apna bachcha hai. So uh, I said, unless I command it, I will not be able to accept it. And uh, he pursued that you take me sincerely. It's not my, it's a jury recognition. And if it is a jury recognition, I think humbly I accepted it that okay, uh, whether I command or not. Uh, but uh, let me commit to all those who are sitting here through you and through the, the organizers that I will remain committed to the banking industry as long as I am in a position to deliver and remain active. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. I should I mention one more, one more aspect of my uh, explanation. In the last 30 years that I can remember, for a small while, when Sinon was here, mm -hmm. this idea showed some, some signs 
of some life. Before that and after that. Don't have to tell you what did happen. Do you know where we are now? Last time I came here, why when the idea was getting associated with the Indian uh, India China Council, when we are hosting a Chinese delegation, the highest class, uh, led by the, by the deputy governor, the people back of China. Madam Wu. Madam Wu. Madam Wu, yes. So, so when we talk of many things that have been come and gone, it's like Sele, they have put so much to work, they are working so hard, they have not worked as hard in many years that they have been last for the last year. See, there's a smile on their face. They are a great team. They are the yes. great team on your side. But they made yeah. them up. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing I wish to add, you know, about the jury, you know, I'll tell you the truth, you know. What happened, I had met you in the budget speech show, I think that Chidamaram Sahib ka budget sa, it was uh, 2012 sir, 11 or 12, 11 or 12, you know. That time I was very impressed, you know, and at the same time we were always thinking, ki in the infrastructure sector, where we work in the power and infrastructure, the Anersha Foundation is involved in this, which is my flagship foundation, which has done nine energy sector awards. So, we always felt that nothing is going to move without the banking industry. Supporting and you remember we talked about the Mysore idol in those days. <laughs> All the hydro assets now under duress huh? in the country with 15 percent. I can tell you, you know, if you really want this country to progress, projects will build the nation. And these are the only places where the banks, otherwise, I always say, sorry to say this, but I'm Panipuri ki dukan chalu karenge. How we build the infrastructure of this country. Uh, I think Tanksele Sahib ko mere ko thanks kana chahiye ki it is bankers like him or people like him who help the country's development in progress and infrastructure. More of them we have, I tell you India is safe because nahi to kya hoga, we will go for the three years profit and four years returns which we have been doing and no infrastructure, no development of this country is possible. So it is a very important, I am very indebted that we could, you know, Gets a stalwart like him for such an award because last time we didn't give anything. Or kahan shuru kare? Samaj bhi nahi aata. So banking hi aaya. Jab Sharma is the baat hui. Or isme jury mein kaun kaun hai? Wo dekhiye. K. Ravi Kumar, former chairman of BHCL. There is Yogendra Prasad. He doesn't need a name. He's like M. Vishwasriya of the hydro sector. Former chairman of NHPC. The man who really doesn't mince words. You know, it's very difficult when you tell him we want to give this award. It's very easy that he can say, "Yar, ye kyu kare?" You know, so they were very big stalwarts sitting over there. I can assure you, sir, it was not only Sharma ji's this thing. Sharma ji's love, Thank let you. us understand his love for everything, <laughs> good. And he's like father to me and to all of us, the father figure. But that you are an absolutely good, deserving person for the second IPSC award that we could build a lifetime achievement around, around you. Now we can give some few people. You know, so we are thankful to you also that you accept this award and trophy because it needed a stalwart of your caliber to even give a lifetime achievement award. Thank you, sir. That as a channel. We have uh, another five, seven minutes for my colleague uh, Gokhale Ji. Inspector Sainsali sir, uh, Sharma sir, or Sabhi dignitaries or friends. Uh, at the beginning, I am extremely thankful to the organization who has uh, given lifetime uh, achievement award to Tangshale Sahib, uh, the person who really deserves it. Uh, because <laughs> it was my fortune that uh, I had been uh, brought from Rajkot to, that I was a uh, regional manager at Rajkot and I had been brought to this particular branch that is Mumbai main office, what we call it, of Central Bank of India. It is the fountain head, head of uh, Central Bank of India. And uh, there, our founder used to sit and that particular KB chair, etc. It was adored by the founder of the bank and uh, who is the, who was the <coughs> Sorabji Pochkamala, who had founded this particular bank as a first Swadeshi bank. And extremely I'm elated that he gave me the opportunity to uh, occupy that particular chair and afterwards now that particular, that area is converted uh, into a, a special type of uh, this thing and it will not be occupied by anybody. So I am the last branch manager rather and who was given this particular opportunity and not at any other time but at the centenary year of the bank. I am extremely thankful. <laughs> to you.
Uh, I was in converted into museum and it was inaugurated by Mr. Leeladhar as deputy governor. <laughs> and it's a very beautiful building, historic building. And uh, so far as Tansal Sahib is concerned, uh, he is a, a person, uh, he is a person with head and heart. He taught us, he taught us I will say, uh, that we should, while working as a branch manager or bank, as a banker, we must contribute something to the society. And uh, because of that only, and uh, with his, uh, I will say, uh, whatever he has given during that uh, two and a half years, he always used to give, whenever somebody will come to him, he will say, oh, go ahead, go ahead. This is not my first, second, this is not my first book. This is the second book. First book I had written, it's an e-book on documentation of the bank. It's a, it is for the internal use. And as uh, I had been to him, and immediately within a second he said, yes, Gokhale, go ahead, I am with you. So such a chairman, hardly I have uh, worked with, because I had also worked with at least seven or eight chairmen. He is a different personality, that's it. I will not be able to explain much more, only I will say a few words about my book. Uh, this book is nothing but a combination of some 51 odd stories and episodes which has happened during uh, my lifetime as a 40 plus years as a banker and uh, it is uh, a soft skill book I will say but it doesn't explain or it doesn't say anything or enunciate uh, the typical I will say uh, soft, uh, soft skills uh, technicalities but practicalities only are involved and when I had been to him he said that Mr. Gokhale write it like this only. <laughs> yeah. So he, uh, yeah, uh, I am extremely thankful to him and now I will be requesting him that since he, he has also uh, very kind enough to give the foreword for this book and uh, now I will be requesting on behalf of uh, myself uh, to have this particular book or uh, declare this particular book as published. One more thing is that incidentally today why, why I am here and why he has also accepted it is 105th year foundation day of Central Bank of India. Extreme. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let me tell you, it was a great pleasure uh, to have uh, Gokhleji in that branch and uh, what is the customer service? How I, I mean, this man would, the name is Vaman, size is also Vaman. <laughs> <laughs> but fantastic. Uh, that branch is worth visiting, let me tell you. And then we created so many things and my focus on uh, leveraging customer relationship has always uh, brought a lot of pressure on him because I used to do a lot of many functions there. We had the uh, medicine collection, yeah. box, yeah. Uh, we set up so a museum, yeah. then yeah. we yeah. opened a capital yeah. market branch, yeah. what not I think. But thanks to him that he uh, was eager to take up every challenge. So I unveiled the book uh, which is written by Mr. Gokhale. And, uh, since I have written a forward, I would say that it is a book worth reading by every banker because it is a banking beyond beyond books. Beyond books. <laughs> because unfortunately, people try to practice beyond banking as within the book. So let's. <laughs> and I wish Gokhale writes many more such books because see the banking industry is really getting totally churned out. So in 40 years uh, when it has expanded, all those who joined the industry in 70s and early 80s are retiring. <laughs> so the new crop is joining but then I would like to say that unless a proper onboarding is done, unless proper handholding is done, investments is done in these people and they are told that what is the law about you can't probably have the same kind of a loyalty and commitment. Because today's benchmark is how much on Flipkart and how much on Amazon. So <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> so I think that's a big challenge industry. So you write something yeah. which you should really inspire uh, this young generation to accept this as a challenge. And thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Wonderful, Tanser Esau. It is wonderful to have you here at the Mass Media Resources Inertia Foundation supported Second India Public Sector Enterprise Awards 2015 and uh, with Sharma ji, our patron of the jury and myself with the jury chairman, Professor Ayer here. 
you know, we want to ask you a very simple question, sir. Times are tough. The financial times in the world is tough, not only of India. India has definitely shown fantastic resilience. How do you look forward at such a time, you know, recognition to banking industry itself is a very difficult task, you know. And here we see that what you have done, you laid, laid a standard in Indian banking sector, which I, I, I think, you know, it, uh, it probably is like climbing the Everest and we need to climb many more Everests. How do you look at this situation, sir? On this day, especially since you said it is the 105th year of your bank, Central Bank of India, which you actually led beautifully. How do you feel receiving this, such an award, sir? The Lifetime Achievement uh, Award. I am extremely delighted to uh, be recognized for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, but uh, let me tell you that the journey for a banker uh, is really not a smooth sailing as it is perceived to be in a society. Uh, let me tell you very frankly that nobody can undermine the fact that the banking is the lifeline of the economy. If the economy has to move, the banking has to move, banking has to be healthy, banking has to be sound and banking has to operate on the ethical standards. Right, let me tell you that the pains today are not the permanent pains of the banking industry. They are not the pains only because of the banking industry, they are the pains because of the various external and internal reasons which are part of the ecosystem and I am very happy that the government is really looking for every piece of the ecosystem being put in place so that whatever investments which have happened particularly in the infrastructure sector which I would call it a national wealth should become productive. When you say it becomes <coughs> productive, it means it must deliver the services what are envisaged to be. We are the country where we can find a deficiency in everything. We still have the villages which are not elect having electricity. We are having the villages which you call a dark area in terms of financial literacy or the literacy otherwise. Right. When we are a part of a country where the challenges are to be met with the real growth of the infrastructure, how could this se sector can really be uh, 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 I mean affecting the economy yeah. and thus if this sector is really by all the ecosystem players is put into the right perspective, <laughs> right path, it starts generating cash flows, I am very sure all the pains of the bank industry will go. I am very sure that today the bank industry for last one and a half year have really engaged themselves into the inclusive growth in the country through the various initiatives of the financial inclusion like Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana that is for the SME sector, Pradhan Mantri uh, uh, Jeevan Jyoti Yojana, the country which really doesn't have the support of the insurance and the pension, the country which hardly has 6% pension society, a country which has a very low p insurance density and the, the penetration, I think all these initiatives of the government of India are laudable and are being driven through the banking industry. So I am very proud of my industry that my industry has contributed towards the inclusive growth of the country and put the economy on its higher pedestal as compared to any global player. Thank you very much. Sir, one question before we go. Both the, okay. last, sir, the last mile, uh, you know, whether consumer or like you rightly said, remote access like today, we have still 19,000 odd villages on paper, at least a few increased 25,000 odd villages which are not electrified. 30% of the country doesn't really receive any barely a quantum of electricity, as you rightly said. And we're looking at upping the ante of infrastructure by about 4 trillion even in the next 5 to 6. That means we are looking at 2 times the GDP growth. So in this, sir, can you just in a very simple way, you have said everything, but banking sector, what it can do? 1, 2, 3. So I think the banking sector is uh, doing its piece. Uh, very important for me to see that the existing uh, projects are really put back on track right. uh, and for the new investments uh, I think you will have to relook at what had gone wrong and how you can ensure that the proper balancing uh, of the funding arrangement is really done. I think the country needs a real development of the bond markets. That is what is going to be the answer for the future growth in the infrastructure. If we are able to answer that properly I think the proper blend of the debt from the bank industry and the corporate sector through the corporate bonds can make the difference and 
will achieve what we really need to achieve. Wonderful, Tanjala sir. It was uh, indeed an honor to talk to you today, Thank and you. it was also an honor to actually you receive the award, but an honor for the jury also to find a candidate of your caliber, sir. Thank you Fantastic. very much. I'm humbled with that. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.